Pat, there was a lovely exchange just after lunch when the openers were set, and it looked as if you really roughed up Sean Masu, didn't you? Like, he was on the back foot, as if... You could almost say your mindset was, I'm breaking this partnership. It is me, I'm changing the course of this game. Like, you, you, it's almost as if you wouldn't stop bowling until you had your man. <laughs> like, did you feel that sort of sense of, of you know, of what you had to do, you know? Yeah, I think every now and then you, you just get a sense of, um, of me personally. I feel like my rhythm's good. Um, you know, we still haven't got a wicket, so I just want to crack it open. Um, that first session, I thought we bowled OK without being um, outstanding. Um, and I thought, you know, one of the big things was with that wicket and so much bounce, our, our bouncer needed to be a little bit fuller and um, try and make, make the decision to duck a little bit harder. So that was my aim, just try and get it in between that area and then also um, trying to get him driving. But, um, yeah... When the ball's coming out nicely, I love bowling long spells like that. And how close was Mitch Stark to a hat trick? Uh, we're actually saying uh, I've you know, played a little bit of first class for New South Wales and he got two hat tricks in the same game last year and I just felt this was the moment in yep. test cricket. Um, yeah, so close. He's got to get one one day. Um, but I've seen him do that so many times. <laughs> really great for you to come before you've even got to the rooms to cool down. Thanks a lot for being with us on Cricket 360. Oh, thank you very much. Pat, Pat Cummins, uh, three wickets today. Mitch Stark uh, ended up with the figures. He took four. So